Hey guys, I'm just going to go over question 17a from the mock assessment. Uh, let's read the question carefully. Figure 3, this one here, shows the plain view of a garden where the part of a garden has been enclosed with 250 metres of fencing. So this is the garden, the enclosed bit, and 250 metres is the distance around the outside, i.e. the perimeter of it. The shape of the enclosed part of the garden is a rectangular section joined to a semicircular section. Okay, so it even just confirms what part the enclosed section is. It's all of this rectangular bit with this semicircular bit on top. Given that the radius of the semicircular section is r meters, show that the area a meters squared of the enclosed part of the garden is given by a the area equals 250r minus 4 plus pi over 2, all multiplied by r squared. My thinking. My thinking is, if they've given me the perimeter, that's the first thing I'm going to use. Yeah, I'm have to, They've tell, told me this piece of information for a reason. This is the perimeter. So let's come up with an expression for the perimeter and then equate it to 250 metres. First thing I'm going to need to do is just label my sides. So I need the perimeter. If this is the radius here, then that's obviously the radius. Therefore, that will be one lot of the radius. That will be another lot of the radius. I know that the length across the bottom uh, let's do it in red, is 2r. Now, this bit, this semicircular bit, is half of the circumference. Circumference is pi times diameter divided by 2. The diameter in this case is 2r. So I've got this bit's going to be pi times diameter, or 2r times pi, or 2 pi r. So that would be if it was a whole circle, then I'm dividing it by 2. Therefore, that length, in fact, is just going to be pi r, oh, uh, sorry, just pi r. Now, this is a bit confusing. So I know that that, can I relate that back to r? I can't. I can't express this length in terms of r. So I'll have to call it something else, and I can call that whatever I want. I can call it x or y or whatever. I'm going to call this x equal lengths, uh, sorry, opposite sides in a rectangle are equal. Therefore, I'm just going to call them both x. Now I'm going to come up with an expression for the perimeter. So let me make it clear to you that I'm concerning myself with the perimeter. By the way... If it hadn't been perimeter that they'd asked, if they'd given me area in the first place, the first thing I would do would be to come up with an expression for the area. And then I bet they would have done perimeter afterwards. Always look at what they give you and then form an expression. Okay. So I know the perimeter is going to be x, add x, add 2r. So that's going to be 2x, add 2r, add pi r. So the perimeter is 2x add 2r add pi r is equal to 250 meters. Let's call that 250. Now the thing that's going through my head is this. I'm looking at what I need to get to. It hasn't got any x's or anything in it. It's just got r's and pi's and stuff, hasn't it? Therefore, I'm looking at this and thinking, I want to make x the subject of this formula. Right. First thing I'll do is just make that 2x equals uh, 250 minus pi r minus 2r. Divide through by 2 on both sides, and that's just going to give me... Sorry, let me fix that up. In fact, I'm just going to bring 2x over here. 2x equals 250 minus pi r minus 2r. So therefore, x equals 
250, sorry, 250 divided by two is not 250, that's 125. Minus pi r is being divided by two. And minus 2r divided by 2 is just minus r. I now have an expression for x in terms of pi and r. So I'll put them into this thing here in a second. Okay, now I've done everything. The purpose of them giving me the perimeter was so I could come up with an expression for x or whatever you want to call it in terms of pi and r, which I'll then put into the expression that I'm going to create for the perimeter. Right, let's look. Sorry, put into an expression for the area. Right, now I'm going to look at the area and form an expression for the area. So my area is, well, is one rectangle, isn't there? So that's x times 2r. So my area told me it wanted it to be called a is going to be x times 2r or 2rx. Then I've got the area of a semicircle, so that's just going to be pi r squared would be a whole circle, so I've got pi r squared, but it's a semicircle, therefore I'm going to divide it by 2. Let's compare again, just so we're on the same page. A equal, ah, but I want to look like that hasn't got any x's or anything in it, and that was the whole point of me doing this bit here. So A equals 2r. Now I'm going to substitute in my expression for x that I created with the perimeter here, 125 minus pi r, sorry, not pi r squared, over 2 minus r. Then I've got my plus pi r squared at the end. pi r squared over 2, sorry. So let's expand that. We're going to get a equals 2 pi r times 125 is 250 r. 2 pi r times pi r over 2 is going to give me, so the 2 and the 2 are going to cancel those, just going to give me minus pi r squared. Two r times minus r is minus two r squared, and then this is not involved in the brackets. So I'm just going to write this out again: is pi r squared over two. Let's try and make my life more simple by simplifying. Well, there's only two real common terms that I can bring together. The two hundred and fifty r is going to remain as it is, so that will be two hundred and fifty r. Then I've got a half of a pi r squared minus one whole of a pi r squared. So that's going to give me minus pi r squared over 2. Then I've got my minus 2r squared. Look at our next bit. So let's just put that bit first. So a equals 250r. I'm just going to remain there. I'm just going to put this because I know uh, in a second I'm going to try and make it look like this and I'm going to have to just put this first. So minus 2r squared I'm going to put here. Minus pi r squared over 2. Well, let's look at this carefully. So a equals 250r. That's looking good because that's what was in my question that I'm trying to get to. Minus r squared is common to both of these. I'm just going to put this at the beginning, the r squared. Same thing. So let's take the r squared out. So factorize and take the r squared outside the bracket. And inside my bracket, I'll have well, minus r squared times positive 2. is going to give me minus 2r squared. And minus r squared times positive uh, pi over 2. is 
I'm going to give me this here. And this is a little bit confusing, so let me just clarify over here, actually. So I'm, I'm actually there pretty much now because that's actually my final answer. But if I need to, just to prove it to you guys, if I had 2 plus pi over 2, that's the same as 4 plus pi all over 2, if you think about it, because... 2, 4 divided by 2 is the same as 2, and pi over 2 is obviously the same as pi over 2. So this is, in fact, my final answer. I've achieved what I wanted to. I now have A equals 250R. Uh, and then I could put this bit first. I might, let's make it look exactly like it did in the bracket. So I'm going to put the minus here, and then I'll put the R squared on the other side of the bracket. And as we said, that bracket can be expressed as 4 plus pi over 2, all multiplied by r squared. Okay, job done. Okay, uh, please email, email me if you have any further questions or if you'd like me to do part uh, B. Thanks a lot. Bye.